I am very uh, honored tonight to uh, introduce uh, uh, our second lecture in the series of uh, uh, Beyond the Entropy When Energy Becomes Form. And it's a great honor to welcome tonight uh, Massimo Bartolini, who is one of the most important uh, contemporary Italian artists. He has exhibited uh, uh, all over Europe and uh, the States, from uh, uh, Portugal, Italy, France. In UK, uh, uh, he has uh, exhibited in Birmingham, and he had uh, several solo exhibitions in uh, London as well. I uh, have always been uh, extremely intrigued by the quality of Massimo's work, because uh, uh, his work is really undefinable, and uh, he masters this domain which uh, spans from uh, uh, science to art, from literature to poetry, in such a way that uh, uh, every discipline gets blurred into a new unity and a new uh, form. And for me, it's really a great honor to uh, uh, welcome Massimo tonight because uh, he's going to uh, collaborate on uh, the development of the cluster in the later phases as well. He will uh, uh, come to uh, Geneva, to the CERN, and uh, he will have like uh, an important uh, uh, position in developing uh, the f next uh, uh, phases of the uh, installations that uh, we will uh, produce uh, in Architectural Association and uh, uh, in Venice Biennale. I uh, would like uh, to explain briefly again uh, for uh, uh, the person that um, uh, didn't uh, uh, come last time, the idea that uh, uh, we wanted to explore with uh, this uh, cluster of research. In fact, uh, in a domain which is really uh, 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 covered by a lot of uh, rhetoric about sustainability, a lot of rhetoric about ecology, our ambition as architects is really to define a new position, a new horizon of sense on the very notion of energy. And uh, uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, notion that was uh, firstly explored by Aldo Rossi, who considered for the first time buildings as a frozen potential energy. And he explicitly referred to the uh, Max Planck notion of uh, conservation of energy. And such a simple uh, idea was really able to uh, reframe and to give a total new uh, perspective on uh, uh, the relationship between energy and architecture. And I think that with this uh, 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 notion, I would like to uh, pass the word to Massimo Bartolini tonight uh, for his uh, lecture. Thank you very much. Fast. <laughs> uh, 
First of all, I would like to apologize with everybody for my very, very weak English. So uh, be <laughs> patient with that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I would like to show you this. Well, uh, actually, this is the new Maxi. It's the new museum that's going is now finished uh, in Rome. And uh, the artist Zaha did. And yeah, it's going to be the new M Museum of Contemporary Art of Rome. This is the old Maxi where the, the project was held, and there there's a, there's a church. So this this image in this uh, shot, I will explain a little bit. So the position uh, of of the work is really important. That is behind a new construction, a new mausoleum, a new church, and the real church. Yeah. Then you can stop a second before to. I, I talk a little bit, may I? So uh, th this video, I want uh, to present this video because uh, it shows a kind of a relation between literature and science. Uh, of course, the falls of the light, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, showing a uh, uh, right. Uh, the right says, uh, today nothing too. I don't know if it's uh, anche oggi niente. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a line took it by a diary of Cesare Pavese that he was, uh, that he was uh, an Italian writer uh, during the, the fascism. And, uh, well, I took this sentence because it's a pretty uh, definitive sentence. You know? it, it's, it's a sentence that after that there's nothing, before that there's nothing. Uh, and I place it in the middle of, of, uh, of uh, let's say, a self to... Uh, uh, icon of the self uh, uh, celebration of the Western culture, no? like building things, you know, concrete uh, energy efforts. You know, it seems like a game. You, know? so you see that uh, uh, to build a building is like sometimes it's like to suffer. You know? so if I would be a mansion coming to to the heart and see people b building the buildings, I would think, oh, these people like to suffer no? because you have this kind of pathos. And the other, on the other side, there were the church, the the, the, sec the second, uh, the second, uh, let's say, philosophy that suggests uh, uh, to suffer, no, for life. So, in to place in the middle of this work was like uh, was like uh, uh, you know, uh, make some irony, irony about those two issues that the Western culture often propose. Uh, the other issues that. Uh, I really, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in is the, I say the link between uh, art and science. Of course, uh, this is a, a very uh, explored link, and I r really feel near uh, to scientists, and the scientists too feel very near to the artists. And in this case, uh, took in this letter, the, the only technical, uh, let's say. Um, problem was how to make the, the light fall and uh, I, I'm going to tell you this because I, I think it's pretty cool it's, it's like a, we just tie with a, with, a, with a wire of iron and then put in such a strong power in there the, the iron barn and the ropes you know, breaks and let fall down the light so it's something that normally people doesn't want to do it uh, so uh, this show how, how sometimes you just to make the thing in a wrong way make make things straight and and this is also uh, it show also what I, what I said before that the the st uh, strict linked uh, link between uh, science and art so often in science we talk about the unelegance of a theory also the the, the future the, the fortune or e uh, equal MC square it's like that MC square uh, it's the elegance of the formula also no? so uh, uh, the simplicity the you know the, uh, the it's, it's very clear uh, so when the concept of form elegance uh, lightness enter in the science this means that the science is looking to art uh, also uh, also in the science of there's a, there's a there's this idea that nothing really, uh, nothing uh, really disappear, so everything transform, uh, and the transformation is the chance that the matter have uh, to be preserved. 
if it started thinking this way, so probably we change, I mean, the marble is not a marble. The mar marble is uh, just an el electron exchange. So in the end, it's a very, very light matter. S and, uh, and so it's a perpetual attraction and transformation between uh, particles that maybe uh, in the uh, following of the discussion we will uh, go more deep in that. Uh, regarding transformation, I would like to show you another film uh, that is, uh, let's say, take really the transformation and, uh, and of our utilities uh, as, a, as a core of the world. Is it working? No. We, we have in the Western culture, it's uh, really, uh, have, I have a lot to share with uh, uh, a wreath, like the one that we, we held in the churches. So that's why I try to put together those two things. So, so that's why are, the title of this work is Organs as a plural. So because I think also a scaffolding is an organ uh, that celebrate the wreath of the construction. So we often, uh, we often, uh, you know, uh, construct too much, and uh, in, in a very, uh, in a very different way, in a very strange way. So, to be now more tied to the, to the, because this, uh, this uh, talk, it's near to the, to the, it's near, it's tied by to the, to the beyond entropy uh, 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 cluster. So I will, I'm going to show another work that w uh, was done in uh, a few years ago, and uh, okay, this work is. 
here in, in, in the image is a is a wave into a pool okay that uh, after and the wave was overflowing the pool and uh, and was watering um, a barley field okay and this is yeah so this is a uh, this is a work that start like a, I think every worker like a little a little image a little okay we can call vision maybe it's a very strong word but okay let let's call it a vision and then uh, well uh, to me was the idea of to make something very powerful to make uh, a very little things like to water uh, to watering a barley a small barley field uh, this is uh, like uh, after two two three months and well to make this work uh, I start to uh, uh, of course I, I I worked with a scientist Leone Fronzoni of the University in Pisa uh, that he studied the complex system and a bit few engineers and um, how on how to shape uh, the water so the water can be shaped uh, through uh, the energy we put in, but it it's not just matter of put energy in it, but it's it's matter of the frequencies, matter of uh, uh, the timing, and so on. So there's so many uh, variable uh, things that can shape the wave. So we can have this wave like with two uh, eights, four eights. It, it depends. To uh, what do we call point bit? Uh, it depends on the way we 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 insert the the energy in there. Uh, so the class is called Beyond Entropy. Now this this is something that I show in a way uh, the entropy in the fact that you have a big loss of energy to make some a very little thing. No, but then you discover in art you discover that maybe maybe you know the little thing uh, it kind of uh, recollect the energy of of a thought of a of a vision. And uh, yeah, so what was uh, very interesting on the making of this work for me was to discover that uh, this is not a wave. This wave is not a wave, but it's called soliton. And actually, the uh, very funny coincidence: the soliton uh, has been discovered here in the Thames by Sir John Scott Russell. And uh, it happens that a big raft falls in the in the Thames, and it produces a wave with a, with a very strange shape that starts to running along the Thames. And this uh, Russell that was an official, it was on uh, riding a horse, so it started to follow the wave and discovered that this wave, uh, while the other small wave was losing it, the, the more shape and was losing energy, this wave was keeping energy and running and running for miles and miles, and so. Uh, then after that, uh, this uh, this kind of way was was start uh, to be studied more deeply by, by few scientists, and the two that give the name soliton, I think in English is uh, by the Zaborski and Kursal. Okay, this uh, this wave, the, the 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 interesting thing that this wave uh, has is uh, something that uh, in effect is against entropy. It's against entropy because it loses energy very slowly. Uh, and also, it has uh, lots of issues that I will try to read it now that f by from, the, from the scientist writing. Regarding the Max Planck uh, quantum theory, and there's a the attempt to resolve the ambiguity inherent to the collapse of the wave Corpusculum. So uh, uh, the ambiguity is: uh, is everything? Do the matter has a material core, or is just light and you know magnetism and wave? So I say the attempt to resolve the ambiguity in to the collapse of the wave and uh, corpusculum. I don't know how to say in English. No, very very little matter. The base of quantum theory is particularly fascinating. In effect, a soliton can contain, in a broad sense, both property without contradiction. So this is uh, uh, another size thing. I cannot go f more deep than this, 
but uh, what is very fascinating is that uh, the solitum as a as a as a structure can be both a wave both a math material matter so that's why it gives the chance to be shaped in this way i mean i i, I think i can have a few so uh, as i uh, tell before i can shape it in a several different way without to touching the letter just insert energy and this is because also of course we are talking about of a closed system huh? it has a memory of the previous energy insert into the pool so this is yeah a few drawing and this is uh, uh, during the making of uh, we 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 measure the energy that was necessary those one are stripes of calculator then of course it's not everything so poetic as it seems when you talk uh, this is the engine that was pushing energy into the wave you know that's and of course um in so making this war uh, this this work i discover i discovered that it's kind of that is uh, as i say election with the scientists and uh, with uh, Leone Fronzo Fronzoni and this is also uh, uh, because we did a book uh, so and this is was you know to in, the in the middle of the effort of the engine I place uh, some uh, quotation from books and this is a quotation of a book uh, that to me is kind of fun fundamental and is Atlante Occidentale I think in English is lines or light by an Italian writer called Daniele del Giudice and it's a book of the 1982 or 83 something where it's based on the relation between a, a writer and a scientist of the CERN uh, and uh, in that time the relation between uh, arts and science was not uh, so highlighted like it is now but still is a is a is a fantastic book where the it show the relation between you know writing uh, art and science and uh, yeah there's a little uh, there's a little quotation from the book that uh, unluckily I only have the Italian version so Stefano will try to translate directly I just uh, I translate uh, this uh, uh, small quotation from uh, Lines of Light. Yes, uh, I could have uh, told him uh, explicitly. He doesn't see things uh, as uh, they begin uh, to exist, or things that uh, are going to happen as pure energy, pure light, uh, pure imagination. He doesn't see uh, how things uh, uh, now start uh, not being and they start cheesing uh, being non-things. How he doesn't see how things uh, don't uh, require any more movements from the body, but uh, sentiments. They don't require gesture, but uh, intelligence and perception. He doesn't uh, feel that uh, there are lines of uh, forces that are intimately connected to our lines of forces to the uh, coincident uh, trajectories uh, with our trajectories without uh, objects in between anymore. And uh, he doesn't have any curiosity about what is happening when uh, there is imagination outside us and inside us. Or better, outside and inside don't exist anymore in, a, in an interrupted circuit of imagination. I am someone who tells stories, who has always told stories uh, until the moment uh, when uh, these uh, complex circumstances uh, that uh, I started seeing very clearly uh, compute computed and uh, 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 finalized. And this is uh, my experiment. And uh, uh, the other person doesn't feel how everything is much lighter, like pure speed. He doesn't have any curiosity for a sentiment of uh, all these uh, emotions. And it is a big shame that uh, uh, I cannot really describe it fully. And it is a shame that I cannot describe it fully, uh, because in the very moment when uh, I cannot describe it, uh, there is something immoral. Uh, in the same way, there is something absolutely uh, moral in a very good description. 
to not uh, feel the need uh, to tell uh, something is the only thing that uh, changes and deviates the happiness of seeing beyond the form. And the this is again, yeah. So this is what this is what the the, the writer uh, was on the way of s of telling to the to the to the scientist. So uh, there's a there's a uh, there's a beautiful paradox in this book because <coughs> because uh, both of those figures, so th uh, the scientists in the cell, is they are looking for the antimateria, no? Anth anti anti So, but this antimatter, you don't see the antimatter. You see numbers that they, if they change, they they show uh, a, ch a mutation that means that okay, uh, we 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 make an antimatter, and so. It, Imagine that the scientists at CERN, they are like they are like people that are fishing, you know, that they are waiting for this changing in the sequence of this number. And they say, okay, as a writer, I, I'm too waiting for something because I cannot make a structure of what I'm writing, but it, it just came all together, all finished. So they, they, they have this, ca they are mm, sharing the, the waiting for, you know, kind of a vision, both of them. And uh, yeah, this is okay. This is what's like. Then, after all this, uh, um, this uh, uh, let's say uh, beautiful experience, very <laughs> scientist philosophical. Okay, uh, we have to move the work. Th that work was from in Rome, and we and we want to make it in in New York. Okay, the si since the uh, my engine was a, a fantastic uh, uh, navig navig navigant, mm, uh, sailor, sailor. So he decided, why don't we transform? <laughs> we decided to transform the pool into a, into a boat. Okay, and yeah, this is like s the structure of the pool. Okay, then, okay, ah, I got this fantastic, yeah. This is this is the engine, of course, it was outside, and this is the blade of the, mo the water, this is the shaft, okay. Then, okay, just, we, we put inside the engine, and oh, what's that? <laughs> no, and the drone on the back. There's no, there's nothing. No image. Fantastic. Uh oh, we we miss a part of it. Uh. Okay, so then I I got the scrap. After that, we we put uh, uh like a. Um, they say uh, a balloon all around, and uh, you know a shaft with a sail, and then okay we make uh, we make a fantastic plan navigation plan, and then at the end we don't find the money to make it, and then we go by plane. So, so this is <laughs> this is uh, this is how things go. No, but what I like uh, here is like a, uh, as I said before, the transformation is something that appealed me a lot because uh, the transformation it's. Uh, uh um, give uh, so give the matter the, the, the possibility to exist to mutate. So I think it's the only sh uh, things that is sure that everything transform. Uh, it, uh, it and it also give the object, you know, uh, life the, the the choice in a way not to be something to be something else. In a way, it in a way, it more humanize you know the the. Uh, the object is like okay. The robot is like a machine that change continuously, no? And uh, of course, uh, this uh, the change is evident because of course uh, even a stone change, even a, uh, a piece of uh, you know iron change because they react to the atmospheric agent. So start to think when we build something that uh, you know the uh, the, ma the matter change, and at the same time that the matter is something that is very light and have lots lots to share with the with the light really with the light uh, and uh, it's done i mean uh, th there's a beautiful building i remind in in spain it's called the town house you probably know it's a, a very old building old like the, the 70s where where the the wall are, sh are moving slightly moving uh, because like uh, air pass through into the wall 
and it's something that once you know, if you read, and during the time that I was reading uh, these things uh, related to Planck, uh, like this, ah, here it is. Yeah, it's in a strange way, but yeah, here, here it is. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I I cannot uh, I cannot stand uh, to see some wall that was not shaking, no, because it's always an exchange. And then I did uh, uh, several uh, several uh, work like a room where the the where the wall was shaking, shaking uh, in a very light thing, so in a very small thing, subtle thing. But this is something that give a kind of a breath to 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 a room to some. And this is uh, okay. May I control the? Yeah. There's a. Okay. This is the image we had before, and this is something that uh, it rea it's really uh, connected to what I to what I think of what I would like to uh, you know to communicate with with, with what I really think about the relation between between uh, the science and the art, but at the same time, uh, you know. Even between art and you know, the wo all the world around. Question. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. And uh, I would like to ask you if you have uh, some questions for Massimo tonight, because I think that the the, the body of uh, research and the work is so uh, diverse, uh, and uh, at the same time so coherent in the line of uh, exploration and the uh, line of research. And I think that personally I'm very intrigued by uh, the different materials, different techniques. And now this like uh, amazing variety always points out uh, this uh, uh, core, which is uh, the, uh, the fact that you don't really work with materials, but you work with forces. And all the installations, performances uh, are either traces or are devices to manipulate these forces. And in a way, you show us how reality is based much more on energy rather than on actually physicality or physical matter. Well, if, um, I, I, like, I like the word device to, to, to express an artwork. A device uh, means that uh, actuate something. So all the time I try to, uh, in a way, to, to give this kind of, how do you say, not skin is not the right word, but you know, a core, something uh, of the device. So, like the organ, we say before, uh, we we've seen before. So I can change the music. I can, you know, place it in another way. So it's something that, uh, in a way, it can follow the behavior. No, so I, I think that, you know, uh, like we are not always the same. I mean, if you go in a bar, you are. It's you, but showing up more. You know, and so I think also the work of art should have uh, this kind of property. Uh, it's like the note in music, no? Every note I see uh, has uh, all the note in there, just the dominant that make the note C. So I like the idea to make a work that have uh, like a hundred minutes, <laughs> no, maybe it's well, mo uh, as much meaning as possible. Then by resonance, it got one meaning uh, more or two meanings, you know, more evident than the other. So to do this, uh, the idea of device or or machine, uh, something that appealed me a lot. Yeah. Are there other questions from uh, the audience? Okay, I would like to thanks to thank everyone for having come tonight. And um, I would like to thank again Massimo Bartolini for this inspiring lecture. Thank you very much. Grazie.